Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to reset a production Dynamics 365 instance. So here is my CRM Accelerators. It's actually a company that really don't even use anymore, to be quite honest. And this is my oldest Dynamics uh, 365 online environment that I'm going to repurpose for a different company for, of my, my own. So the problem here, when we edit um, a production instance, there's not much we can do with it. So I'm going to click the Edit button here. And this is very important now. And again, this is in uh, uh, January 17th, 2020. I have no idea how long this will be valid, but for now, this is how it works. So I can go to the Power Platform Admin Center, which the, is the new one. This is the old one. Or I can go to the old settings page, which is what I need to do to make this work. So here I have things like I can change the name of the display name of the org, the actual URL and in our case the production instance type we're going to change that to a sandbox type i'm going to click next and it's going to come back with an error message saying well you know you don't actually have a sandbox instance to copy this into so what i'm going to do is switch it so that's what we're going to do here so this is actually changing it from a production instance into a sandbox instance even though it doesn't actually look like it and the message says that we don't have this available to do evidently it still works so that's all done and now as you can see we're actually the sandbox and the reason I wanted my sandbox is because I need this reset feature here so what this is going to do is it's actually going to erase my entire um, Dynamics instance again I don't need it I don't even use it anymore I keep it around for safety purposes if or in case I need it because to be quite honest I have one user and you can't buy that anymore so I'm gonna click reset it's gonna flip me over to the new way of doing things I'm gonna change the name to another company And I'm going to deploy sales and customer service. So display name, type is production, region you can't change because it has to stay in the region where you created it, new URL. I do not have a security group associated with this. Again, I'm the only user, it doesn't matter. Uh, the version that's going to be installed on this, which is the current version, language, uh, default language currency, and I'm going to deploy the sales and customer service apps and remember this is going to erase everything so all of the data that I have which I've already extracted is going to be erased all the solutions so this is literally giving me a brand new database so I'll click reset I'm going to confirm that this is exactly what I want to do now I am making a very valid uh, assumption that if this doesn't go the way I want I have a backup that is made automatically that I can restore back from should I ch change my mind in the next few days which I don't think I will so basically it's going to go through three four steps here so again it's validating it's deleting the old environment again probably what they're doing behind the scenes is they're actually doing a drop database uh, command uh, so they're actually physically dropping the database then they're going to create a new database with the base install for sales and uh, customer service, which is what I selected. And then they're going to uh, finish up and tell me they're done. So hang on and we'll be right back. And we are back. So as you can see here, <clears throat> we now have a new environment name, a new URL. Um, it's still of the type sandbox, which we need to fix in just a second and so that's it okay so how do I fix the sandbox so let's let's take a look at that edit change it to production click save and this may or may not work let me refresh here oh I should say that it took about uh, seven minutes or so seven or eight minutes to actually reset and do the four operations that it needed to do to reset it. so that's actually pretty good considering modern database operations so yeah between seven and, and eight minutes is what it took okay so this is still sandbox so 
I think here's here's what I think I'm seeing again. This is January 2020, and this is not a, a completely migrated uh, admin tool. I think I need to go back to my other admin center because what's happening is I only have one instance uh, of anything and so what's happening is I don't have the ability to switch environments if I had a sandbox and a production this would not be a problem at all and it would have done it and gone away what is not happening at this point in time again in January 2020 is the fact that it doesn't uh, I do not have a um, uh, more than one environment so it's not giving me the message properly in the new admin center so now I'm going to edit this and then again choosing the old one is it going to work? oh it's already it's working and then I will switch this over to production from here so production next it's just giving me a warning there. I don't uh, basically the difference between sandbox and production. Uh, again, with production, you have very little leeway about what you can physically do to the environment besides basically turn it on and off. So I'm going to save that. So this is a little bit more convoluted than it should be. And when I first went into it, I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And then I'm like, well, let me drop back to the original. Uh, Dynamics 365 Admin Center and try to make it work from that environment because that environment's been around for the longest, and indeed it did it did work. Okay, so it says out of one production license, I have zero that are unused. I have converted this from one company into another company, and if I open this, I should see the unified interface. If I don't see the unified interface, I'm going to be really shocked. And there is my menu. So. I go to sales hub now it is still saying sandbox that's quite fascinating to me it should not be saying sandbox that may be just an artifact maybe I need to wait a little bit on this but anyway so sorry for the long winding road to get here but this is how you actually convert a single org production instance reset it and promote it back to production so good luck with all that let me know if you have any questions